Glas Vegas are an indie rock band from Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, they were formed in 2003, and they currently are James Allen, who's their frontman and rhythm guitarist and songwriter, who's a former professional footballer. Um, and for the Americans among us, that means soccer player. Um, and Rab Allen, who is uh, James's brother on guitar, and a guy called Paul Donahue on bass. They've had three drummers in the past, but they now only have a touring drummer, and they have released four albums. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was uh, the first album by Las Vegas, and it's my first encounter with them. And I don't have a huge amount of hesitation in describing this as indie rock. Uh, so I often talk about indie rock, rock as having what I call the big curtain of rhythm guitar at the, in the background that kind of fills in the sound, and then they put stuff on top. Um, and I, I kind of somehow think of this visually as being a curtain. Well, if that applies to this album, then that curtain is a huge, thick, velvet, blackout curtain. It's taking this idea and taking it basically to, con to an extreme. And it's a very kind of big, mush sound of chord. Um, and in some ways, it, it sounds more like... Um, uh, the skirling drones of a mass pipe band, so that's Scottish bagpipes, and uh, it feels wrong to say the word skirl without saying it's skull. So anyway, um, there's a really big, massive um, uh, sound to this backing, uh, and I th I'm wondering if it's boosted at times by keyboard pads. It's certainly got processing on it to make it feel very continuous and uh, very much like a constant sound here. Um, this is also uh, somewhat emphasised by the fact that they've got several songs that are in the same key that are back-to-back, -back, and this um, uh, rhythm guitar, uh, hard to call it rhythm guitar when there's really very little rhythm in it, but anyway, this guitar backing continues between the songs, so the songs just kind of move on. Um, and uh, and the backing continues. Uh, uh, other than that, I would describe this mostly as being stadium-bound uh, rock. It's kind of meant for huge arenas. Um, it's, it's a huge but fairly simple sound. Uh, the, the vocals are sung loud, so that they cut through everything else. Um, and there's quite a lot in the songwriting of singable repetition, which sounds like it's things that they're intending to get um, an audience singing along to. Uh, there are not all the tracks are this kind of huge sound. Uh, the last track, uh, which is called Ice Cream Van, is more mellow and uh, it, without drums in it. Uh, the most unusual track on the album is a track called Stabbed, which is a spoken word track with a backing of uh, a rendition of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata on a, a, a muted piano. Um, uh, the, the guy's voice is very Scottish um, in well in his accent and the, the way he pronounces the words, but also in style. Uh, it reminds me a little of the Proclaimers, but it's a bit more of a stadium sound than the Proclaimers ever seem to have particularly. Um, songs are you know, kind of picked up some of what the songs are about, generally about life. There's maybe a little on the dark side. There's some stuff that's obviously uh, based in regrets. Uh, there's some swearing, but not a huge amount. Sometimes it's hard to make out what the words are, um, partly because of the um, uh, the accent, which is which is pretty strong. Um, so I live quite close to Scotland. I think there's a reasonable chance that um, I can pick out more of what's being sung here than uh, people who are not used to the Scottish accent, in the same way that often when I'm listening to rap albums, I'm probably picking up less than people who are... Um, uh, used to American accents as uh, so much. Um, the one song I'm going to pick out is called Geraldine, which is uh, about a social worker. It seems to be a positive song about a helpful social worker, but I'm not entirely sure. It might be intended to be sarcastic. I don't know. Um, so generally, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the backing curtain kind of indie rock, um, but actually. Because they've pushed this so far, it makes it more interesting as a thing because they've taken this thing that I don't like, generally, and pushed it a bit further. And they go, actually, that's different. And I think the thing that I don't like about it is that it's so often done and it's so samey. 
Um, musically, otherwise, it's quite straightforward. Uh, not in a way that really grabs me that much. Uh, the songwriting is okay, but there is better songwriting around. Um, I think, in general, the, the track Geraldine pulls it up a bit. I'm not sure about the stab track, whether I like it or not. Um, so overall, I'd say I'm glad to have heard it, but I'm not necessarily in a hurry to hear any more from them, um, uh, you know, unless they manage to do something different. So that's what I think. Please let me know what you think of this album by uh, contributing to the comments that appear below the video on the page. And that's it from me for now. There's a star on the horizon.